I've been watching a lot of videos of overdubbing using Descript and a lot of people's instructions are super slow so I thought I'd make a quick video on how to actually use it. The first thing you want to do is you want to follow the link in the description under this video and just sign up to Descript. Now once you sign up it's going to ask you to download Descript to your computer which is very easy to do so once you download it you're going to get a page like this. So once you are here you just want to go down to voices and you want to create a voice. You can name it whatever you want, um, let's say Tom. And then you go confirm. You can see I've already um, produced some voices, but I'll show you guys how to quickly do it. It's super easy. You want to upload your voice. So you can use this, you can use uh, the drag feature, or you can just choose a file. Now, now there are different plans. You can actually upgrade. Uh, it's only $30 a month. It's super cheap. I'm so this is just using the free version. So after you've uploaded or dragged in whatever you want, you do have to submit the training. Now there is a security feature where you do have to I guess sign off using your voice. It's a 15 second verification um, that you have to record, which is very easy. And then after 24 to 48 hours, they'll tell you whether they've accepted your voice or not. So once this has all happened, what you wanna do is you wanna go to recent projects. Now what you wanna do is you wanna go to a new project. And once you go into a new project, it'll open something like this. I've already created some voices, so I'm going to show you guys how it's overdubbed or cloned my voice. Now, this is the first voice that I tried and it's not very good, but the second one called New Stuff, I actually gave it about 30 minutes of my voice and it's really, really good. I do want to train it a little bit more, but I'll, so this is, the viral voices is only 10 minutes of training, whereas the New Stuff is about 30 minutes and you can really tell the difference here. So I'll let you guys listen to it. Space is the vast three-dimensional expanse that contains all matter and energy in the physical Jabba. It is often considered to be an infinite. So because I only have the free version, cer certain words will come as Jabba. Now if you want that to be removed, you can obviously just up upgrade to the full paid version and you won't have that anymore. You can also edit it and um, speed it up or work around with the, with the different effects. Can continue listening. Avoid, but recent theories suggest that it may be curved or jabber. Space is the vast three way. So now this is the second training that I did. It's definitely a lot better. Space is the vast three ointment that jabber all matter and energy in the physical. It is often considered to be an infinite void, but recent freedom suggests. Did you guys hear that? How it breathed after void? This is so realis realistic. It's incredible. This is so realistic. It's incredible that it may be Jabba or bounded. A study of spaces. Space now, is the vast three dimensions. So to basically to do this, all you have to do is, now if you want to overdub or clone, clone your voice from just some text, all you have to do is paste in something here. And then after you've pasted that in, So to overdub your voice, all you have to do is just paste something in here. Now what you want to do is you want to press this and you want to go to new or whatever voice you recorded. So whatever name you saved your voice recording, you just press on the speaker here and it will basically, you know, you can create voices using all of these. And that's it. That's how you overdub. After about 24 to 48 hours, you come back to voices and you see if it's ready. If it still has this situation happening, then obviously it's not ready. And that's it. That's your voice. Now, if you want to create um, recent projects and you just go create a new or new project over here. So you press on the new project and then it will open a new page. Once it opens that new page, all you really want to do is just give it a title. We can call it Tom's clone voice and then paste something in or you can even upload a word document or whatever you want to do I'm just going to paste this in once you've pasted this in you're going to see something called speaker and you want to press on the speaker now once you press on speaker you want to create the voice from whatever um, you named that voice so since I named it Tom I can name it Tom or whatever I'll press that. Now, you want to actually edit the speakers and make sure that they're all working correctly. So under speaker name, you want to obviously have the same overdub. So you want to have the same overdub voice. Um, so these two need to be the same basically. And after you've done